Hello aspirants. In this video, I will deal with 1.2 that is ball mill and sphericity. You, if you haven't watched 1.1 that is law of size reduction, please watch that first and then come back here. So let's begin. This is me got AIR1 in 2013 and completed MTech in pharmacy and power from IIT Kharagpur. So before going into the formula and important details, you must understand what is ball mill. Are we using ball? That's why we are calling it ball mill. Yes, this is so. We are using here balls. Why these balls are used? See, this works on the principle of centrifugal force. When a when this drum this rotates because of centrifugal force, this ball remains in contact of this wall. And when this come up to a certain point because of gravity, it goes down, and this heavy ball falls uh, falls onto this material which you want to reduce. So what this principle, what is underlying principle? This works on the principle of impact because this is falling over this uh, your uh, grain product and. Because of impact of these balls, they are getting into the fine powder form. So, one point you got centrifugal force, second is gravitational force, and third is the impact. This is how this ball mill works. Now, what you need to understand this how this ball mill works, what are the various principles behind it, what your I explained you till now, and one important formula related to this that is. Critical speed of ball mill. What is critical speed? If the speed of ball mill will be higher than the critical speed, this ball will this ball will not fall from this surface. Then what will happen? This ball will always be in contact of this surface, and no falling will happen. If no falling will happen, then no impact and no grinding of material. So, in the operation of ball mill, it is very important. To maintain the critical speed, actual operational speed of ball mill is lesser than the critical speed, but it should not be greater than the critical speed. So, what is the formula for critical speed? It is one divided by two pi under root b divided by r minus r. So, this unit is in revolution per second. Please remember this, my friend. Various people do mistakes here. If you are not able to remember, then You understand like this. What is the unit of g? That is meter per second square. And what will be the unit for r minus r? That will be meter. So meter from meter will cancel out, and one by s square that will become one by second. So that is revolution per second. So please remember this formula gives value in critical critical speed value in revolution per second, not in minute. So to convert into minute, you need to multiply by 60. So this time, as I explained you, operational speed is less than the critical speed. That is generally 60 to 85 percent of MC. So you please remember this value also because in examination uh, they ask in one mark what will be the range of operational speed as compared to critical speed. So this is 60 to 85 percent. So I think till now it is good. Now. See this question. Ball mill work on the principle of. I explain you. So please give me the answer in the comment box below. Shearing, crushing, cutting, and impact. I think you know the answer. So please let me know. I don't know. So this is one question for practice. You pause the video and read this question. What this question is saying. I am solving this question for you, and I have one question to solve for you. So here we know the formula of critical speed. Now the value of G is gravitational. This acceleration due to gravity. That value is nine point eight one or nine point eight whatever you want to write. Then this R is the radius of ball mill. It is given two meter. So See here it is radius. Here it is given diameter. So don't make don't make mistake like I made. Okay, I wrote here two, but what will value one? 
I deliberately wrote it true so that you can see here. This is not true. This will be one. So please, please make a correction here. Minus R. This R I wrote right. This R is the diameter of steel wall. Whatever is falling onto the grain. So here that is 10 centimeters. So what will be the radius? 5 centimeters. So 0 0.05. So now if you calculate. We are saying operational speed is kept 80% of crystal speed. So what will be the operational speed? This NP into 0.8. And they are asking the speed in RPM. So this will be your answer. Will it be your answer? No. What you need to do? You need to multiply it by 60 to convert into RPM. Okay. I hope you are clear now. You, you please make correction here. It is not 2, it is 1 because uh, in question they have given diameter and here we have to put radius. Please, please give your answer in comment box. So this latest question get 2015. I have this question for you. And there is same formula you have to apply. Diameter is given for ball and the ball means the speed is given physical speed and the question has asked in RPM. So what you need to do? you need to apply multiplied by 60 ok now we will move towards the our next concept that is historicity you don't go by the bookish formula and bookish language you just remember what is historicity this by this term historicity is the surface area of a sphere having same volume as that of particle to the actual surface area of particle how you will apply this in question i will show you this one numerical example but you remember this formula and one more formula if you, you will get of specificity that is lbp to the power on by 3 divided by L. this is length length width and thickness and this l is length so out of 3 this value of length will be always high so if 3 value are given 10 4 3 then 7 will be length only so highest value refers to length this upper term is also known as the equivalent diameter so sometimes in question they ask what is equivalent diameter then you have to give the value of this only if they will ask sphericity then divided by l ok so sphericity don't have any unit while the equivalent diameter has unit of meter centimeter or millimeter so see this question of 2009 they have directly given length, width and thickness and they are asking sphericity. What you will apply? You L, B, T, 4 to the power 1 by 3 divided by L. What your formula is shows? If you will apply that, your answer will come point six six directly. Hope this question is clear. Now we will move towards one complex question. That is date 2011. So sphericity has been defined in question itself, but they are asking for a speed scale. So what? formula I showed of sphericity is surface area of a sphere having same volume as that of particle to the actual surface so here what is the um, particle that is the cube shaped ok so in this what you need to do surface area of a sphere so this is the surface area of a sphere that is 4 by r square what it says divided by actual surface area what is the actual surface area particle our particle is q and the surface area of q is 6 a square ok i hope you are clear till now now it says this surface area of a sphere having same volume means volume of the sphere this is equal to that of particle and the particle is q so a cube equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube so you got one relation from here and this will be your sphericity. Now what you need to do, you need to cancel out this R. How? You just replace value of A from here to by value of R. And this both R will cancel out, put value of A and you will get answer pi by 6. If you have still any doubt, I will explain it once again. See, the formula is surface area of sphere. Okay having same volume as that of particle means the volume of a sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to particle volume 
in question the particle is q so i am equating the volume of both two okay this is equation one now i went to the formula of my sphericity and i saw this is sphericity surface area of sphere that is nothing but 4 pi r square second line i already applied here that is this one and now divided by actual surface area particle and my particle is q so surface area of q is 6 pi square so i am done with this and now directly i replace value of a with r and my answer came a it will not come directly it will come some numerical value and if you will put the value of pi as 3.14 you will get that value this was good question answer in 2011 if you understand this formula then any type of spherical equation you can solve it here. ok so thanks for watching this video uh, these two concepts are very critical although it's a simple concept but year by year they ask this question see my motto is to make concept clear to you in first instance they may look easy but people do silly mistakes in that and you are this this catchy marks will go in vain so some people apply uh, they will solve entire question carefully but in last they will forget to multiply it by 60 so without 60 option will also be there in the exam don't think that without 60 option will not be there and nowadays the weightage of fill in the blank stack question is increasing so in now you will not be able to see the option itself so suppose your answer is 60 and by calculation you put that answer 1 then you are if you apply formula correctly put this value correctly but you got 1 and that will lead to negative marking so this type of careful study you need to do so thank you thank you for watching the video have a nice day